I'm Miss Fell, and I'm going to talk about um, different ways to improve reading. Um, students who come here seem to not always want to read, and they think it's a pain. So maybe I can offer some good advice on some fun ways to learn how to improve your reading skills. Um, one thing is to maybe start a club or just a couple of people and all of you read the same thing at the same time. And that way if you have questions or comments you can always share with your friends and get some feedback that way. Because some people will see um, books differently. I remember reading the yellow wallpaper in college and always thinking about this woman who was crazy and her husband locked her away and then a student came in and said well, maybe she's in a psychiatric ward and that's actually the hospital. And I never looked at the book the same way twice. So uh, having a group to give some feedback and different viewpoints is a good way to help inspire your reading. Um, another way is if you don't like actually reading books, you could do what I did to my daughter when she didn't like reading and that is to put the subtitles on movies. She always liked Japanimation, which is the Japanese cartoons, which of course they speak Japanese and um, so she would want me to put the dubbing on so they would speak in English, but I refused and I put the English subtitles on. And if she could wanted to watch the movie, she had to read the subtitles, um, um, which eventually made her a faster reader and it was something she enjoyed. So she would watch these movies over and over and in the process was building her vocabulary as well. Um, vocabulary is a huge part of reading. Um, one way to make the vocabulary stronger is just to keep yourself a vocabulary log. Just get a small notebook and when you come across the word you don't know, write it down. Then you can translate it later, write a definition, maybe try it out. The other way is everyone is so electronic now is to download something like the dictionary.com app. Um, it will help you with your pronunciation. It will give you the different definitions and the different parts of speech. It will give you an example. And part of learning to read is of course the vocabulary and the, knowing the vocabulary makes it more comfortable for you to read. You don't feel as scared about it. Okay, the other thing is that you should try different types of reading. I ask students many times, what do you like to read? And all they say is stories. And everything is a story, whether you're reading the newspaper, which are small stories, you are reading an academic article, which is someone's story about research, or if you're reading Twilight, that's a story about love and vampires. It actually took me many years to finally narrow down what I like to read. I read many different things before I got to that point. And this is what I learned about myself. I like to read autobiographies, which are stories about people, biographies as well. I don't care if they wrote it or someone else wrote it, because I like to read about people and how they think and why they make the decisions they do. I also learned that I like to read science fiction because I like the science and the outer space, but I don't like fantasy. So things like Game of Thrones, I don't find that very interesting. And it's a very fine area between science fiction and fantasy, but I found that eventually. Um, I do sometimes like to write, uh, read love stories, but not always if they're really sappy, which means that it's all dramatic and pre-university students very maudlin. There's your vocabulary word. And um, I do like the love stories that talk about how people fall in love, which also ties into the biographies and autobiographies. So it just depends on trying a few different things. Don't put a book down just because it scares you, because the vocabulary is too big. Learn the vocabulary. I still carry, at my age and my education and me being a teacher, I still carry a vocabulary log because there's sometimes words I just don't know, right? And I use my context clues, sometimes that helps, and sometimes I have to look it up. Um, but just try different things, I think that's the best thing. But start small, read newspapers, short articles, read the comics, get a comic book, get a gra graphic novel, then move up to a full novel, if that's what helps you. Reading anything is always going to make you stronger. 
There's a few tips from Miss Val, so keep reading, keep those pages turning.